I think there's no solution in sight until we get some real leadership. Sacramento is uh, at its essence becoming partisan gridlock where Republicans are talking to Republicans and Democrats are talking to Democrats but nobody's rising above it to say hey we have more in common than we disagree on. Everybody wants uh, good schools for their kids. No one wants to watch California's infrastructure crumble before their very eyes. And everybody wants good paying jobs in California, but what we're not having is an honest conversation about what our priorities are as a state and then how the two parties can work together to accomplish those objectives. Instead, you've got everybody focusing on their little line items on a budget and not uh, talking about those priorities because a, a budget should be a reflection of our priorities. And I don't think anyone's seeing that. Well, I don't know anything about the details of the project, but it doesn't surprise me. Let me put it that way. In the 10th Assembly District, we've got four counties, Amador, San Joaquin, Sacramento, and El Dorado, and all of them have the same complaints. You get uh, the CSU system, for example, had in the budget originally in a, an agreement to build a new science building because their classrooms are deteriorating. They don't even have modern equipment to teach science. That was supposed to be in the budget. It's not. Uh, so every county has those kinds of complaints and it's because we're not doing enough at the state level to really solve the budgeting crisis. Uh, so it doesn't surprise me, but I don't have an answer for you at this time. I share your concern. Uh, I'm on record as being against the peripheral canal. One of the things that really concerned me just in July, a couple months ago, at the LA Times did a, a piece where they were lauding their efforts at starting to regulate when people watered their lawns. And when I grew up in Lodi, we were regulating what days you could water your lawn back in the 80s. And here's LA just starting that in July of 2008. That concerns me. I want to see a lot more happening with conservation down in Southern California, because um, I know we've been doing it here. But look, I'm not going to be the expert on every issue. Um, I certainly am talking to the people who've been working in water for some time. I've talked to Mike Machado, who's been in water a lot longer than I could hope to have that, that kind of experience. But even he doesn't have all of the answers. And so I can't tell you, I know we need more water. It's going to be one of the big infrastructure issues that we have to address in the next two years, in this next legislative cycle, is finding a solution to our water crisis. I just can't tell you whether it's going to be uh, underground water storage, dams, how much those dams are going to cost, how many dams we need. You know, I'm working with the people who've been working with it every day, and they don't seem to have an answer. I know it requires input from everybody involved in the process, but... I don't have a solution for you today, I just know it needs to be a priority.